Hello students, welcome to iQuanta. In this iQA series, today I am going to discuss arithmetic problems based on CAT 2022 first slot. The first question is based on simple interest. Now before I start solving this question, I will suggest you guys to watch each solution carefully. Even if you have solved them before, you will definitely get to learn something in each problem. So first question, it says Alex invested his savings into two parts. The simple interest earned on the first part at 15% per annum for four years is same as the simple interest earned on the second part at 12% per annum for three years. Then the percentage of his savings invested in the first part is. So let's say total savings is equal to X plus Y. So what will be the interest earned on the first part? It will be x into 4 into 15 upon 100 and this will be equal to y into 3 into 12 upon 100. These two are equal as it is given. Now we can cancel out 100, 100. 3 into 5 is 15, 4 into 3 is 12. So from here we can say x upon y is equal to 3 upon 5. Now we can take if x is 3, y is 5, we can say s is equal to 3 plus 5 which is equal to 8. We can also assume x is equal to 3k, y is equal to 5k, then s will be equal to 8k but that does not change the outcome. Now what we need to find is percentage of his savings invested in the first part. First part is nothing but x. So we need to find x upon s into 100 which will be equal to 3 upon 8 into 100 and 1 upon 8 is 12.5 percent. What is 1 upon 8? 1 upon 8 is 12.5 percent. So 3 upon 8 will become 3 times 12.5 percent which is 37.5 percent. Thus our answer is option C which is 37.5 percent. Second question, you can see lots of ratio. This is based on ratio concept. It says in a village, the ratio of number of males to females is 5x. The ratio of number of literate males to illiterate female is 2 is to 3. And the ratio of number of illiterate males to illiterate females is 4 is to 3. If 3600 males in the village are literate, then the total number of females in the village is. So let's write down male and female. How many of them are literate? So literates are 2 is to 3. If this value is 2x, female must be 3x. What's the ratio of illiterates? Illiterate males to illiterate female is 4 is to 3. So if this is 4y, this will be equal to 3y. What will be the total? So in this case, the ratio of total is given which is 5 is to 4. Now it's also given in the question that if 3600 males in the village are literate, this value is 3600. 2x is equal to 3600, 3x will be equal to 5400. Now according to question, the ratio of males to female is 5 is to 4. So we can write it down as 3600 plus 4y upon 5400 plus 3y is equal to 5 by 4. This is what's given, right? Now we can solve it very easily. We can say 4 into 3600 is 14,400 plus 16y is equal to 27,000 plus 15y. Or we can say y will be equal to 27,000 minus 14,000 is 13,000. 400 more, so it will be 12,600. What we need to find? Find the total number of females in the village. So total number of females is 3x plus 3y. We know y, what is 3y? 3y is 12 into 3, 36,600 into 3, 1800. So it will be 37,800. So number of females in the village will be 5,400 plus 37,800. 8 plus 4 is 1,200. 
and 37 plus 5 is 42 so it will be 43200 as you check the option we get option b is the correct answer next question is based on profit and loss a little complicated question not as simple as previous two questions little calculation based let's say it says amar buys 110 kg of syrup and 120 kg of juice syrup being 20 percent less costly than juice per kg so first we are going to write down syrup and juice so in case of weight total weight that has been given here this is 110 kg and juice is 120 kg what is the cost price so cost price if we take j as x this value is 20 percent less right syrup being 20 percent less costly than juice we can say this value will be 0 0.8 x so we can say what will be the total cost price so in this case total cost price will be 110 into 0 0.8 it will be 88 x and 120 x so total this becomes 308 x this is our total cost price now it says he sells 10 kg of syrup at 10 percent profit so if you talk about sp first sp sp is 10 percent profit so cost price is 0 0.8 x it will become 10 percent more which is 0 0.88 x per kg and 20 kg of juice at 20 percent profit so this will become 1.2 x now what's the weight that we are selling here so this is 10 kg and this is 20 kg so total selling price in this case will be this will be 8.8 x and this will be 24 x together this will become 32.8 x now it also says that mixing the remaining juice and syrup Amal sells the mixture at 308.32 per kg and makes an overall profit of 64%. So what we can say, our total cost price is known, which is 308x. And total selling price is 64% more than this. So this into 1.64. This should give us total selling price which is nothing but 32.8x plus this is the selling price per kg for rest of now 100 kg of syrup is left and 100 kg of juice is left because we sold 10 kg and 20 kg till now so total 200 kg it will be now how much this value is 308x this is 208 so 208x into 1.64 208 into 4 is 832 carry 83 208 into 6 is 1248 plus 83 1331 carry 133 208 into 1 is 208 plus 133 it becomes 133 plus 8 141 so it will become 341.12x now minus 32.8x is equal to 308.32 into 200 from here we can write this down this value will be 308.32x is equal to 200 so basically this strange value we don't need to do anything with that it will be cancelled out eventually because this is the same value 308.32 cancelled out 308.32 we get x is equal to 200 if x is equal to 200 it says amal's cost price for syrup so cost price for syrup is equal to 0.8x which is nothing but 160 rupees per kg 
दैट इज ऑप्शन ए क्लियर नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन now this question is based on tsd a very beautiful question it says trains a and b start traveling at the same time towards each other with constant speeds from station x and y so train a is starting from x train b is starting from y respectively train a reaches station y in 10 minutes while train b takes 9 minutes to reach station x after meeting train a so in this case situation is like this x y x and y train a is starting from here okay train a is starting from here and train a is arriving here but the total time is 10 minutes total time taken by a is 10 minutes but in case of b b is starting from y and b is reaching at x but the information that's given here is somewhere at point m a and b are meeting and after that b is taking 9 minutes to reach station x this time is 9 now can we say as they are starting simultaneously at the same time if b takes t minutes from y to m let's say this time taken by b is t minutes then time taken by a from x to m will also be t minutes then in that case time taken by a to cover distance from m to y must be 10 minus t minutes okay now as per distance is constant if we take distance from x to m ratio of speed of a upon ratio of speed of b will be equal to reciprocal of time taken by them so time taken by b to cover x m is 9 time taken by a to cover x m is t and the ratio of their speed will be same even in other part because again distance is constant from m to b or b to m for this time b takes t minute while a takes 10 minus t minutes so from here if we cross multiply we can say t square is equal to 9 times 10 minus t or we can say t square minus 90 this will become plus 90 and this will become minus 90 is equal to 0 we can break this as Plus fifteen t minus sixty minus ninety is equal to zero, or this will become t plus fifteen into t minus six is equal to zero. T is equal to now one of these must be equal to zero. That's why whole expression has has output as zero. T cannot be equal to minus fifteen. That means t must be equal to six. Now, if t is six, it says, "What is the time taken by train B to travel from station Y to station X?" This is nothing but six minute, and six plus nine is fifteen minute in total. So, what's our answer? Our answer is option A, which is fifteen. Last question of this, it says, "Pinky is standing in a queue at a ticket counter." suppose the ratio of number of person standing ahead of pinky to the number of person standing behind her in the queue is 3 to 5 so pinky is somewhere in the queue and some people are ahead of pinky and some people are behind pinky and the ratio of these persons number of persons ahead of pinky if this is 3x then behind pinky it's 5x and pinky one itself is one person so total number of person what will be total number of person total number of person here will be equal to 8x plus 1 3x plus 5x plus 1 now according to question it says if the total number of person in the queue is less than 300 this value is less than 300 now what value we can take 
which are less than 300 and in the form of 8x plus 1. So it could be 8 plus 1, 9, 16 plus 1, 70, 24 plus 1, 25 or if you go closest to 300, it will be any multiple of 8 plus 1. So 296 is a multiple of 8 closest to 300 plus 1, 297 could be the maximum number of person in the queue. So it says then the maximum possible number of person standing ahead of pinky is. So we can say 8x plus 1 is equal to 297 as maximum or we can say 8x is equal to 296 or x is equal to 3 times 24, 5, 6, x is equal to 37. So number of person standing ahead of pink is 3x. So we can say 3x is equal to 111. Now if you check the option, option D is 111 and that is correct. Alright. So I hope these solutions were helpful to you guys. If you have any kind of suggestion, let me know. I will try to cover it. And in the next video, I will try to cover rest of the arithmetic problems. Okay. And if you want to see more of CAT previous year question, you can go to CAT preparation iQuanta channel and you can look for this playlist IQA by iQuanta. Okay. See you. Thank you.